In this video, I'm gonna show you how to waterproof your hair, how to finally get it to stay looking amazing despite humid, wet weather. On Half My Head, I'm gonna be showing you the styling mistakes that I often see people make that leads to their hair getting frizzy and humidity. And on the other half, I'm gonna be teaching you all of my waterproofing hacks. Then we're gonna do the ultimate test and we're gonna steam both sides to see what happens. Let's go. The first mistake that I see a lot of people make is not using good products or using the wrong products. I know that a lot of people don't like hair products because they say that it weighs their hair down. I have been in so many situations as a stylist where my clients have told me to do their hair for an event and not use hairsprays or not use creams in their blowout. And this really is such a huge misconception. If you've had bad experiences with products before, it is likely because you're using the wrong products for the situation that you're in or you're using the wrong products for your hair type. Not using products in your hair and wanting it to look amazing is like having double D's, refusing to wear a bra and wanting to look great in a t-shirt. It's not going to happen because you need support, right? You need support. Hair products are to hair what a bra is to boobs. It's support. On half my head, I am using nothing, and on the other half, I am gonna use Color Wow Dream Coat. This product is described as being a raincoat for your hair. It is specifically made to be an anti-frizz treatment that waterproofs hair. If you wanna use another product for anti-humidity or anti-frizz, you absolutely can. Just keep that goal in mind when you are shopping. There are a million products that do a million different things, so when we choose one, we wanna choose based on the effect that we want to create. You should you shouldn't have one hair product that you use in every situation. Your products really do need to change depending on the look that you're creating and even on the climate that you're dealing with on that particular day. So this is Chris Appleton's product and it's considered like a little mini keratin treatment that lasts for three shampoos. So everything that I read on the website is to fully saturate the hair. This is not a less is more type of product. So as you can see, I air dried this section of my hair, I air dried the whole thing, but then I just re-dampened this one and we can just go in and we can saturate with this dream coat. And this is gonna be one of those products that if you are in very humid weather, it's probably a really great thing to get because it has like a special formula that it basically creates like a shield on your hair so that the water can't penetrate in. Mistake number two is not blowing your hair out properly. If you rough dry your hair or let it air dry and then you straighten it, it will not look nearly as good or last nearly as long as when you blow it out. Your hair's cuticle layer looks like shingles on a roof. So that outermost layer of the hair, it looks like shingles on a roof. And you want the direct directional airflow to push those shingles down smoothly in one direction. This is what's gonna make your hair look super shiny, super soft, and more importantly, last in humidity and last for multiple days. A lot of people think that they should air dry and then straighten to save on heat damage. I completely disagree with this. You will be able to use so much less heat later if you blow your hair out first, and it will look way better. A great blow dryer really is so important for this step so I'm very excited to partner with my favorite hot tool brand Timo if you guys been here for a while you know that I love my Timo hot tools I use them in every styling video I use them on myself I use them on all my clients I love how affordable they are how good the quality is and how well they really do work in today's video I want to show you guys the Timo air hype light this is such a cute little light but powerful blow dryer that sits at such an incredible price point and it works super super well before we get into blowing out the hair I want to talk to you guys a little bit about some of the features of this blow dryer because it really is super amazing. So you turn it on with this button, right? The middle setting is on and the very top setting is the cool shot button, which is amazing because it's right here, you know, super easy, we're good to go. But then you actually control the speed and the heat over here. I love this so much. So when you control the speed and the heat, this part right here actually moves up and down. So you can see that this is room temperature, then we have low, medium, and high. And then from there, we can also adjust this and we can go medium, 
right, so this is like a little thermometer and it's very intuitive. And the reason that I actually love that so much is if you have finer hair like me and you want to use lower heat or you don't have as defined of a curl pattern and you wanna use lower heat, you totally can do that and you can like intuitively see this. So you can go high in airspeed, low in heat. It's so intuitive. That's honestly my favorite part of this blow dryer. I also really love that it is small, it's powerful, it's like one seventh the price of the really high end blow dryers, but it's just as good, it's just as effective. It really does feel super high end. And there is a magnetic attachment here. So you can put your nozzle in. You can also buy some other accessories and I'll show you that in a second. As a bonus for being a part of my community and my channel, I'm gonna be giving one of these away to you. Yay, giveaway. So in the comments section, I want you guys to tell me what you look for when you are shopping for a blow dryer. Do you look for something small like this or something light like this? Or do you look for something very hot? What is it that you look for when you are buying a blow dryer and why? Why is that feature so important to you? Let me know in the comments section. You'll be entered in the giveaway in two weeks from today. I will be announcing the giveaway winner in my community board. There's a lot of scamming going around on YouTube, so don't fall for that. If you get a message from me asking you to message me on Telegram and all that stuff, that is a scam, okay? That is absolutely a scam, but you will see your name posted in my community board in two weeks if you win, then you just have to send me an email and I will send it over to you free of charge. When there's giveaways, you should never pay for anything at all. So if you win, you will get this over to you free of charge and I hope that you love it as much as I do and I'm sure you will because it really is amazing. Like. Isn't it cute? It's a sexy little blow dryer, right? What you wanna do in this step is position the blow dryer so that the nozzle is directing the air down the hair shaft. If you have very curly hair and you tend to get a lot of kink and curl in the roots, then you can also get this comb accessory and this is a great preliminary step to take the hairline down or stretch your curls out before you go in with a brush. Now in terms of the brush that you should use, there are so many options for this. I did an entire video on the different brushes and which hair type they suit the most. If you wanna learn more about that, I will leave a pinned comment with the video link. For today, I decided to use a ceramic barrel brush. Now you can see the difference between air drying, okay, and blowing your hair out with a great blow dryer. All right, I wasn't even that careful with it. I just went in there, I used a great product and I blew it out, smoothing that cuticle layer down, putting all that airflow down. Now, mistake number three is not sealing your hair with a flat iron. That last flat iron step really does help with humidity control. I know that sometimes we avoid it because it really can collapse the volume. If you avoid flat iron your hair for this reason, just lower your heat way, way down. Do one pass on a very low heat setting and you will just seal everything in place without sandwiching the volume volume too, too much. See, as you can see, when I'm doing a pass on this heat, this heat temperature right now is 140. It really is so minimally hot. Like, look, I can put my hands on the plates, but it really does work and it creates that extra little bit of shine without anything collapsing. Do you see that? I still have like loads of volume. Here's my end result. Now here is this side. Now the reason that this side doesn't look good is for two very important reasons. For one, I didn't smooth the cuticle layer down, so it feels really rough to the touch. I also didn't use any product. It pangs me, it hurts my soul to flat iron my hair without product in it because product is heat protection most of the time. The Color Wow is a heat protector, so I'm gonna do it anyways because I know a lot of you guys do this and I really need to prove my point. But just know, keep this in mind, when you're not hitting that subscribe button that I am burning my hair for you. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but do subscribe, please. <laughs> so at that same heat setting, you guys can see that I can't use that heat setting because my hair needs more heat in order to straighten because that cuticle layer isn't smoothed down already, right? So even though I didn't use 
that much heat when I was blow drying, it did enough because hair is easily manipulated when it's in the wet stage. It's very easily manipulated. When hair is dry, it's not as easily manipulated. You really have to work harder by using more heat, more passes, more of the things. That's why I think it's so important to blow dry your hair before straightening it if you want your style to last. If you don't, you're just not going to get the style to last for as long. It's gonna to wanna to revert back to its original state that it dried in, but you're also just going to end up having to use more heat, right? So you're doing more damage. I get the notion that not blow drying it will lead to less damage. I understand why people think that, but it's just not, it's not true. So let's amp it up. Let's amp it up. Oh, I'm going to 400 or else this is not gonna become smooth and I'm not gonna be able to show you what happens in humidity. Okay, so let's remind ourselves that my right, my right side is the side that had all the good stuff done on it. My left side is the side that I did the stuff that I normally wouldn't do, that you probably do. Most of you probably do this. And now let's run a very hot shower and let's go stand in the steam for like 10 minutes together and see what happens. It is misty. <laughs> Look at my window. Oh my God. I can already feel my face getting like sticky. Okay, let's give it some time here. Oh, we can already see some frizzies popping up, can't we? Okay, here we go. This side is looking frizzy. This side is a little bit flattened, but the frizz level is significantly less. So I was in there for 10 minutes dying, sweating my butt off. Look at how shiny my face is. But I think this visual is everything. I mean, it's not like this side is perfect. It's not, there's some little frizzies and everything. And like we have lost some volume because it was super, super, super hot and super humid. I cranked it up to the max. Like that water was boiling and I sat in there. I stood in there for 10 full minutes. But this side is like an absolute disaster. See, we have massive amounts of frizz. It's kind of reverted back, exactly what I was saying, to the position that it air dried in, right? My hair does not air dry well unless I really scrunch it and use products for curl formation. But if I brush my hair out and let it air dry, it air dries like a fuzzball. So I air dried it. I got it to look completely smooth after I flat ironed it. But the second that that humidity hit it, it reverted right back because there was no support from product and no smoothness from the cuticle layer being blown down, the sealing of the blow dryer, all of that. That's why it is really so important to blow your hair out, use good products, and then seal it when you are in a high humid environment because really your hair wants to go back to the way that it air dried, you know, especially without product. It wants to go back to that. Thank you guys for watching. If you want more information on the Timewell products, I will leave all of that in the description box below. This video is over.